Good morning, guys. So welcome to the kitchen of Natasha. <laughs> Natasha's kitchen. <laughs> so yeah, guys. Today I will try to make it first time in my life. For me. First time in my life, the kinilaw. You know, guys, I don't eat kinilaw because. But wait, wait, babe. You're on the Isla Familia channel, and the. Oh yeah, sorry. Welcome this back is, to Isla Familia. I'm I'm Matt. This is Natasha. For Maka, today's... Marikar, aka Natasha. Natasha's kitchen. So Natasha crazy kitchen. Yeah. So yeah. And wait, and the I saw the very nice uh, white marlin on the market. So then I bought half of the kilo, and I said, babe, you need to make me kinilaw today because. I love kinilau, you know. For me, kinilau is the best way to eat raw fish. Then Be over than what? Better than any kind me? of sushi or... Better than what? <laughs> <laughs> better than any kind of sushi or anything, you know. This is Johnny Depp. So, so... If, if, if you are visiting Philippines or you will be visiting Philippines, Try kinilaw if you're not scared to eat the raw fish because raw it's fish, yeah. this, in my opinion, this is excellent uh, meal. So tell me more. We, I already marinated the fish for the in the vinegar. So you have to marinate the fish first. Then I prepare the ingredients. We have the tomato, the cucumber. Spring onion, guys, because the onion here is very crazy expensive, guys, really. It's like 10 US per kilo, even more. Even the vendors, they don't buy from the suppliers because it's very expensive. Over $10 for one kilo of onion. Yeah, this so is ma madness. I will just use the spring onions. Then, you know, also the gar ah, garlic, sorry, ginger, mm. minced ginger, and for the chili, Small chili for the ass, you know, <laughs> smoking ass later. Smoking also, ass. Also, you will use the calamansi later. Lemons. And Lemons. Lemon key. Coconut. Añejo. Añejo gold rum. Coconut milk. No, and this is, but you tell, this is like real coconut yeah, milk you made. Yeah, this is the fresh one. I bought the shredded coconut, then I squeeze them, like take the juice, you know. And then the seller, the vendor advised me to also put like, I don't know, I think this is they call tabon tabon. She mm. told me to put like, uh, you know, after, you know, like you scrape them. Mm. It's like a cheese, you know. <laughs> so yeah, let's do this. So, but you can tell oh, in, about? Uh, about this fruit because... This is like a uh, good for the fish, that for the raw fish, it kills the bacteria. Yeah. They give you the taste like what? Uh, bitter sweet taste if you mix it Just with like vi vinegar. Why even this need? I'm already sweet and bitter. And, and you know, I, I read about this fruit a little bit because I first time saw it also today in my life. <laughs> and it's used to prepare the raw fish in the Philippines since 1000 years. That's what the, uh, the Wikipedia, yeah. Wikipedia told me. And the... And the um, it's not so well studied yet. They studied about these fruits, but it has highly bacterial, uh, how do you call this? Antibacterial, the kill, antibacterial uh, uh, power. power. So, not bad, huh? It looks like a brain. And yeah. it looks like a brain. If you cut it... It's if you have small brain, this is how it looks. <laughs> <laughs> so it reminds me, you know, like a walnut, yeah? It reminds me of this crazy Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start the dressings. This is the dressings, you know. Okay. Wait, sir. Ah, and we use the coconut the vinegar coconut tuba. Coconut vinegar. So not the... You know, like more like um, uh, how you call this the tuba. No, no, no. Uh, uh, how you call this natural, healthy things? Oh, I don't know, Jibaka. Don't think about this. So let's just think about now. You know. So mainly, this is like over fermented tuba. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Coconut sap, naturally fermented with chili, ginger, garlic, and onion. 
So we add the how you call this? So uh, But it's here already. You need more? No, this you will throw. Ah yeah. Okay. But you then then you shouldn't rinse the fish with the water. No, no, no. Just remove the vinegar. Okay. So put the vinegar. You know, like how you call that? Up to you, but a little bit. A little bit. I don't like a lot of vinegar. Mm. Ginger. We, have, we don't have onion like I told you, but this I will use for the mm. How you call that? Like the Spring onion? To jest bardzo proste do przygotowania. W zasadzie trzeba wszystko wymieszać. You see, guys, it's very easy. You just mix all everything. No cooking at all. Very easy. Maybe I'll start eating like this. Mix, mix, mix. Then daj mi salt. Salt. Trochę soli. You will put pepper. You can put pepper. I like pepper. This is the pepper is up to you, but Matt very like the pepper. You know. like so it. I will put more pepper for sure later. Na pewno pieprzu tam jeszcze dorzucę, nie? <laughs> so mix, mix, mix. We we'll put the granato coconut milk. I use the one half, um, one cup mm. of milk. You can see it's like it's it's thick. It's not so watery. Yeah? No, no, no. So that was like pure coconut. You can see it for twelve years, that guy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, why well, did you take my brush? Mommy, it dies on so boom. Oh my God! Really? It <laughs> Then we will put the calamansi guys, like around maybe you know, like. We uh, have them squeezed. Three or four head, because ah. this is big. Okay, four lemon cubes. No, you will okay, give me. Okay, okay. This will give you like another taste, like the sourness. You know? Then later I will put my underarm. <laughs> Here. This is first time I make kini lager, so I will not try anyway. I think it's hard to make it, you know, wrong because it's so simple. You just need to have proper ingredients, and that's and it. You have to marinate the fish in the vinegar first. Yeah. You see, the the fish change colors like after you marinate in the suka. But you know, guys, for me the kini lager best taste is like the next day. So I eat this next year. So <laughs> You also can put sugar, you know, like just for another taste, but I don't, Matt don't like sweet, only me. You can put one cucharita, cucharita of sugar. Yeah, yeah. We have muscovado. You can put sugar if you like, and if you don't like, it's not really matter, guys. This is muscovado, so that's why it's so, so, so dark. Flat or big booby? Yeah, it's okay. Flat is okay? Mm, like this. We add the pepper. How do you call pepper in Polish? Pieprz. What? Pieprz. Pieprz. <laughs> you throw much egg will have a bazooka. <laughs> bazooka for the dupa. Or dupa. How do you say that? Uh, so you say enough. Chili mm. for the bazooka. Yeah, right. See, guys, How many chili you put? I have put they are very Three? small. Wait, I will show you guys very how small. small are they. You see it's very small but small but terrible, guys. Very spicy. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot I will just drain. Okay. Remove the suka. We have the smell of the you know suka in the nose. It's very strong, guys. Oh my god. Put this. Dawaj, dawaj. Coconut milk. Throw it. No. Think is there's a little so hot. Ah, okay. Ciągle jest trochę octu, dlatego wybiera łyżką. This is half kilo, guys. Half kilo, right? Pół kilo białego marlina. White marlin. Freshly from the grass. Grass? What happened? Co się dzieje? Grass. I put the fish. How it looks, babe? You tell me. Is looks it? 
delicious. He put this spring onion. Should be like red onion normally. Yeah, the on Sibuyas Bombay. So you explain the red onion. Red onion but is it's so expensive. Very expensive. We cannot afford. Even the vendors they don't buy from the suppliers because they cannot afford. How many what? How many mommy, days? mommy, ah. Days for what? To eat this? Yeah. I don't know. Depends how often I will eat. You will eat with rice? Yeah. And the brain. It's very good with rice. Tabo, how you call this? Tabon tabon. Tabon tabon? Yeah. Not tabo tabo? No. Not tabi tabi? We will inaugurate. Like, just like a cheese. Uh, you see. Ah, sure. okay. Oh, parmesan? <laughs> Looks like parmesan. Yeah. Very bitter. You try, baby. It's okay. like make your tongue like. Do you want me to put all or just like that? Put half. I'm smelling this, you know, this strange smell. Don't smell. And it's done. You can eat now or later. Later, later. Make it, mix it good, babe, with this, this cheese. Cheese, yeah. yeah. It should be mixed with the vinegar. But maybe really you should soak it in the vinegar and then next time remove. Huh? You have to eat my recipe, you know, or else you know what it can happen. So we will cover and I will eat. See you in the next one. Mm. I mean later. He will eat. He will show you this. No, you have to put it in the fridge. Okay. Thank you, mom. Thank you. <laughs> I'm very happy with this quinilaw. I can give strong 4 plus to Jubaka yeah. in scale 1 to 5. So it's very good. For the first time, eh? And I think even, you know, tomorrow it should taste better when the flavors uh, mix. Proper. Mm. Now I have a lot of quinilaw to eat. For sure one day more or... <laughs> I don't know. So thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And you can, as you can see, Marika is eating the fried chicken with vinegar, vinegar and kimchi, kimchi and black rice. I have also black rice for this quinoa. See you in the next episode. <laughs>